Good day, everyone. We have a phone that came in for repair. It's a Samsung Galaxy. I'm not sure about the module, but you will see about the module later. This is using USB Type C and it's not powering on, it's not doing anything. The phone looks like this. Maybe some kind of uh, Galaxy A04G, G4, or a G5. So, what I want to do. What I want to do, uh, we have the USB power meter here. It's 5.16 and it's 0 amps because there's no load. What I will do, I'll plug here. And what is taking here? It's taking like, like 10, 10 milliamps, 10 by current. 0 0.9, 10, 0 0.9, 10, 0 0.9. Pressing the switch, the phone is not doing anything. So what can be faulty with this phone? What can be fault? Uh, how do we get inside this? I believe the back cover is supposed to come out. That's what I think. So I'll apply it here. And we'll try to open this phone from the back. We'll try to open it from the back. We have to do it uh, nicely so that we won't damage anything. And the glass, I just cracked with the glass. So we take the bed the back panel uh, from what i can see inside there's no original samsung like this this is a copy samsung this is a fake one you can see the bar the battery with the three wires there's no original phone uh, with the three wires so checking the voltage on the battery plus and minus we have zero volts so the battery is highly discharged we have three volts and i'm sure We need to put some current into this battery. Eh? Four volts. And you can't. We can't even charge this battery. Like really? Let's lower the voltage even to three volts.
we can charge this battery I didn't want to take out the screws because I'll just bend this plastic and try again. Here's the plus. We have the NTC pin, which is middle, and we have ground. So this battery is not charging. Let's put four sixty. This looks like a dead battery. We can't even charge this. You know what? Let's disconnect this battery. This looks like a fault battery. That's the battery. We have three wires, we have the plus and minus and the middle pin. Uh, let's see now if we can push some power into this battery. Because I don't think this phone is faulty. It's taking 1.2 amps. It's taking one amp we are charging the battery so let's wait a moment let's see now let's see now now what do you have uh, what voltage do you now have on this battery plus minus and we have 4.33 we need to connect this battery back. Maybe that was the problem. So I need to connect to reconnect the battery to its original position. I'll connect the plus first. And then the NTC pin. Negative temperature coefficient. And then the ground. Now, let's see what will happen to this phone. I'm curious to see how this phone will behave now. Plug in the charger. And it's still taking no current. Where's where the battery? Where's the battery sign? 
uh, and is 100 percent so it's not taking current because it's the battery is just full samsung galaxy a54 g5 this is a copy so a highly discharged battery can kill your phone And I'm sure that is the reason why the owner of this phone no longer want it. Because he left the phone, he said, fix it and you sell the phone. So this phone is for sale. But the, the issue is, who am, I, who am I going to sell this copy phone? Uh, there is password. I have to communicate with the owner. <coughs> But everything seems to be okay. The touchpad is responding, is doing everything. So, that is the story. Let's power off the phone. Off. It's off. Yeah, this is a copy one. Now we need to stick this. We need to stick this back. The back cover. Samsung Galaxy A54 G5. This is a copy phone. So when this battery is go to highly discharged, there's no communication. Uh, when you plug in the charger, the charging I see is not communicating because of highly discharged battery. I thought maybe it's a, it's a good phone. So the question is, who is going to to lag the phone? Because I was given an assignment to sell this phone to anyone who wants it. Because the owner now is another phone. Uh, own Samsung Galaxy A54 G5, a copy one. So, we have done with this repair. The faulty was very obvious, that was a highly discharged battery. Uh, that's what I always say about phones phones, they are easy to fix. Because you change the battery, you change the touchpad, you change the LCD, uh, you change the charging ports, 80 to 70 percent, 70 to 80 percent of the problems are batteries, LCDs, um, charging ports. So the phone is on, as you can see, this phone is on, it's responding. So what I will say, I will say like, subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates. Also share our videos uh, across the, the globe. Uh, see you on the next one. Bye.